Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the free agency promo, guys. Now, there was some speculation for quite a few weeks now that it may be called the offseason promo, but instead we got the free agency. So it seems we will be getting a free agency and potentially an offseason promo. Um, that's pretty cool, at least. I mean, you know, they are pump. I'm not going to lie, they're pumping out some promos right now. They're not the most, you know, there's not the most effort in these promos, you know, they're just kind of some players, no real grand schemes, anything, they're kind of just giving us players right now, I, whatever though, I can't complain, because we've had Maddens like last Madden where they just dropped off a cliff and never came back, right, now I'm hoping they're not just tossing six of the last promos they had ready to just go now, and then they're just gonna drop the whole, you know, drop the game on us, I hope that's not gonna be the case, but so far it's been looking pretty okay, considering what i'm used to expecting around this time of course we still need golden tickets and a few other things but we are still getting some you know content at least in replace of it you know unlike madden 20 where they would get rid of a promo and instead of giving something different we just they just give us nothing right now before we get into today's video always go down below hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell come join the family boys give you a big thumbs up and of course if you do need coins for any players in the free agency promo head on over to muck coin bank down below and use code poodle at checkout for five percent off yeah, that's about it. Let's head on over, guys. Let's check out the free agency promo. First thing you always want to do, guys, is always go down and find the missions tab if there is one. Of course, guys, as you know, Madden, it could be broken and there may not be, there may not be one yet, right? Uh, but yeah, I don't I don't see one. But you always want to find the tab. That usually gives you a pretty good idea. So let's go to Browse Store if there are any packs. So here we go. We got the free agency day one signing pack. So it contains two 87 plus overall free agency players. That's five, five bucks, you know, give or take 350, 450 ish. Uh, free agency intro pack. We got the free agency quick snap pack. Now this is a 96 overall free agency pack with a topper of a five times free. Okay, so not horrible. It still costs like 60 bucks though. Then we got the nine times, which is nine fantasy packs and 492 plus overall players. Um, let's see what else we got. We have a smaller bundle, which is just four free agency packs, and then we have 87 pluses. The individual packs are 120. A regular, a regular free agency pack is 70. These are the fantasy packs. That's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, again, I'm not a big pack guy, so do with that as you will. Come over to sets, and of course, we have the free agency thing right here, which actually is a super cool... Uh, I really do actually like the picture of this free agency set. One of the better ones I feel like we've had in a little bit. Click into it, go to players, and of course, we have JJ Watt, 98 overall master. We got Dak Prescott, 98 overall master. William Jackson, 96 overall hero. Allen Robinson, 96 overall hero. Justin Simmons, 96 overall hero. Hunter Henry, 96 overall hero. Leonard Williams, 96 overall hero. And Le'Veon Bell, 96 overall hero. So as what we talked about earlier, guys, from all the videos we've done, we kind of knew J.J. Watt and Dak was getting one, and Allen Robinson, and Simmons, and Leonard Williams. I did not know if Hunter Henry, Le'Veon Bell, or uh, William Jackson were going to get one, but, a cool, but they did. So the way you do this set, guys, you have to put in two 96 overall heroes, which is super easy to get. Not horrible. Not a hard set. Then you are able to go ahead, but you do not get two players back. Nat, you will get JJ Watt only. So remember that when doing this set. Now the thing here is, uh, JJ Watt will have every team chemistry and his power up item. So you get that at least. Now same thing with Dak Prescott. Uh, we'll have every team's chemistry. Now the heroes do not. The heroes will only have if they power if they're powered up. They will only have their current team until they actually sign somewhere. So unless they have signed somewhere, right? So, I believe Allen Robinson was franchise tag, so he'll probably just remember the Bears chem. Uh, but let's go check out these players on the block, of course. Let's go check out everything else and see what else we are working with. So, let's head on over to uh, the free agency auction block. You know, auction block and look at the free agency players, I should say. There's the missions tab up. Yeah, here we go. Free agency. Uh, it's that time of the year. Players are signing new contracts in your team. See who's on the free agency market and pick up a high, a whole high profile player or two for your ultimate team. Three missions, history of free agency, earn free agency master Dak Prescott, earn free agency master JJ Watt. So click into it, history of free agency playthrough, um, amazing moments in the careers of these selected free agency players, earn 100 stars in these challenges to earn a free agency player. So if you go through it guys, if you play through this whole uh, solo sequence, earn 100 stars, you will get one 96 overall free agency hero nat. Now if you do recall guys, the free agency hero master Dak Prescott and uh, JJ Watt, only require two players so if you get back one night you essentially get jj water dak for half off right so that's good to know so now let's go back out let's go check out the solos of course and there's going to be a fantasy pack guys so you actually could just take a hero that you like let's say you don't want to make the set you could just take a hero you like like if you like alan robinson you like Le'Veon bell just go ahead and take them so the free agency class could get a, could end up with a very different landscape for the nfl play these challenges to relive some of their key moments from last season and more so that's interesting enough right there so let's go check this out uh, milestone so there's a total of let's see 160 milestones so you do not need to play all of them to get your 96 overall in that fantasy pack let's see so each challenge you can get a total of up to 
three stars and one bonus. You can get up to four stars per. Now, these are just gauntlet style, so you don't have to play full games, I believe. So they're four per, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So again, you'd have to play all 20 of these, which would be 80 stars, and then another 10 of these. You'd have to play one solo sequence and a half, I believe. So you have to play one, of, one full, one of present, or one full, one of historical, then half the other one. Or not even half, right? Like, um, so that's it. you can get up to this 20 there, so that's 80, and you need another 20. So oh, five games, sorry. A full one and about five games. So a full one and a quarter, which makes a lot more sense, actually. So yeah, it's not horrible. I mean, and they're not, they might not be, they're not full games at least, so they're not going to take forever to finish. You know what I mean? Just, you have to get the objective done. Just three touchdowns. You want to force quick fumbles, get the ball right back, get your touchdowns, and then vice versa. You know, if it's sacks, you want to punt back on offense and try to get your sacks. Something to actually play for, which is always better than games you try to finish some. Those are so frustrating. At least it gives you some objective. So like, at least even if it's boring, you're at least like kind of feel like you're playing for something. Like, oh, I need a few touchdowns. I need a few things. You know what I mean? Definitely better. Let's go check out the store. The free agency players, <clears throat> excuse me, should be up already by now. Let's go to program. Let's go to free agency. And let's check these guys out. So all the way down here, right? Yep, free agency. Quentin Dunbar. So these are some of the low guys. Quentin Dunbar, Marlon Mack, Romeo Carra, Aquara, Duke Johnson. Let's see who else we got. Matt Milano, Gerald Everett. Gerald, I feel like Gerald Everett's got a few cards this year. Malik Cooker, Carl Lawson, Russell Okung, Jameis Winston got a 93, which isn't horrible. Bud Dupree, decent card. Uh, anyone else? Curtis Samuel. And then we have Justin Simmons, the hero. We have Hunter Henry, the hero. We have Allen Robinson, the hero. So let's check out some of these stats when we're looking at Justin Simmons, zone uh, safety, 94 speed, 96 excel, 97 zone, 85 hit power. Key stats here can be powered up and kept up to 97 speed. We'll get 99 zone. Decent card. I wish it was a little bit faster, though. Of course, you know, going to hurt his card overall, uh, more, more, more or less, right? Let's go to overall so we can sort him out here. Let's go to Leonard Williams. It's actually kind of exciting. I feel like he could be decent. Ooh, nope, too slow. But his block shot and power move are close to 99. He is decent. He has decent athleticism, but he's not He's not going to be game-changing here. Let's go check this out again. Uh, let's go to Allen Robinson. He's probably going to be too slow as well, knowing Allen Robinson. 94 speed, actually not horrible in Allen Robinson's card. But he doesn't have the greatest route running. He doesn't have the greatest speed. I don't really know what they expect us to do with this card. Power to him, though. He's going to be a pretty decent route runner. But his speed's only 95, so that kind of takes him out of the equation. As per usual, cards like this. I saw Le'Veon Bell a second ago, but I think he's gone now. Hunter Henry, did they give him the speed to make him great? Only 90 speed, only 78 strength. Decent run blocker. You know, like he's a good run blocker. He's a good catcher, but the speed's not enough. Six foot five is decent, of course, but not going to be a tight end. I think people are really, you know, you know, eyeing down for their ultimate team. Now, let's, uh, let's filter this out so we can see a better picture here. Uh, William Jackson, we haven't checked that. He's going to be pretty fast, I believe. William Jackson, 96 speed on William Jackson. Now, this is a good card. Powered up and chemmed up. He won't get 99 zone, though, which is what I hate this game sometimes. They do that on purpose, right? One more zone, he gets 99 everything. But William Jackson, powered up and chemmed up. Guys, he might be the best one to choose, honestly. He will have a 99 speed with sprinter, and he'll have 99 play rec, 99 man, 99 press, 98 zone coverage, as well as some decent agility, some decent catching, 91 change of direction. You know, like he's not going to be a great after the catch guy, but he also has 81 hit power. Damn, okay, William Jackson's good. William Jackson's a damn good corner right there. He is not bad at all. Do we have any other lower ones to check out before we start going to the Masters and see? I do want to see Le'Veon Bell. I mean, he has not... I mean, I can imagine people are probably not picking Le'Veon Bell or people don't care for that Le'Veon Bell. We, we know it's going to be slow, right? You guys saw the stats. Like, we know Le'Veon Bell is not going to be the fastest. That's just kind of the deal with him. Uh, they have not made a good Le'Veon Bell card since, like, Madden 4, 13, Madden 15, whenever his rookie card was, uh, his uh, Rising Star card back in the day. They haven't made a good card of him since then. And the sad part is, is that I don't even think it was that good then. I think we just wanted to play with him. I don't know why they won't give him a good card here. Let's go up to the higher ones. I believe a hero should be up at this point. There's a, I mean, a master. There's definitely enough here. So we have J.J. Watt and Dak Prescott. I'll start with J.J. J.J. Watt, of course. They, they never make his card that good. And here's my concern with him, right? A J.J. Watt 99 overall card should have 99 pop, block shit and pop, power move at this point, right? Because they don't give him the speed. I mean, speed-wise, he'll have an 86 speed, which will be good. 90 excel. He'll have 99 strike, 99 tackle, 99 play rec. 99 power move, but he doesn't get 99 block shit, which would make him like a game-breaking, you know, left end. He has 76 catching, though, which is kind of interesting. If you want to, like, do one of those, like... You guys, when you play those, like, blitzes where the left end, like, drops back real quick, you could maybe get a pretty good pick with J.J. Watt. Nice have an impact blocking. Oh, let's see what else. He got 94 hit power. He's a, you know, he's a great he's a great left end. I'm not going to lie, but, you know, it's not what, you know, what we wanted. Dak Prescott, though, has the potential to be super fire here. So, Dak Prescott powered up and chemmed up. 
He'll get 93 speed, which is great for Prescott. He will get 99 throw power. He will get 99 throw short. He will get 99 medium accuracy. He will get 97 deep accuracy. He will get close to 99 throw on the run as well, depending on your chems. 90 agility. He has good, you know, 81 carries, decent. 76 juke, nothing great there. 90 change of direction. Overall, the card's good. It comes down to chems and abilities and everything, but he will be a 99 overall quarterback with, I believe, most, if not all, chems that you want and abilities. So that really comes down to just that, right? I mean, Dak's good. And here's Le'Veon Bell, who I did want to check out. Oh, uh, let's go. 92 speed, right? 93 speed. Okay. So powered him, Kemp, if we get 96 speed, which isn't horrible, but not worth it. He's very well-rounded. He can catch. He can change a direct, you know, change a direction. He has agility. He's just, he's like the jack of all trades. Good at nothing. You know, like good at everything, great at nothing. But you're mad, you got to be great at almost everything, right? 85 short running is good, though. But yeah, guys, that pretty much does wrap up the video. If you guys do want to see the best 96 overall hero to take from your fantasy pack, comment down below. I will make that video next. So let me know that down below. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below. Use code Poodle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe. As always, I'm out. Peace.